I think the article that we are reading today is, the title is, I don't want all my babies to go to the grave, perceptions of preterm birth in southern Malawi. The background of the, an objective of the study was mostly um, around neonatal mortality as a major problem in this country, where 40% of um, under five deaths happened within um, that period of time. And the objective of the study was to understand the community perceptions of preterm birth and miscarriages by interviewing women, men, and health care workers. So why do you think the author chose a qualitative design? If we can look into the method section hmm, to answer, to review, you know, um, the questions that were considered within the, the method section. So the, the methods were focus group, in-depth key informant interviews, and critical incident interviews. Next question. What categories of participants were recruited into the study? There were um, mothers and fathers, grandmothers for focus groups, and they did critical incident interview with women that have experienced pre-term birth. And then they did key informant interviews with clinic um, health workers, traditional birth attendants, and traditional healers. Why do you think the author chose to use multiple qualitative data collection methods in the study? So it's mostly number one for triangulation in order to compare results across multiple sources to learn about different experiences of different participant categories and also to discuss different topics through the most appropriate di um, different data collection methods. So experience of preterm birth as best discussed one-on-one -on -one in interview rather than focus group. So this is why, you know, they do incidents interview with women that experience um, preterm birth. So we're going to talk a little bit about the findings now. So we would like to explore the four main themes the author present in the findings. So what can we learn, you know, about these things? We can learn about the community conceptualization of preterm birth and pregnancy loss. You, you see? How they, they conceptualize those two um, issues. Hmm? And then those conceptualization includes thinking of preterm births as normal part of women's life. Hmm? They say it in, in, into that. Um, and way that women must deal, you know, with um, preterm birth. And ideas that the community have had on the differences between miscarriage and preterm, preterm birth. The, the second thing they talk about also, we can learn is the cause, the perceived cause include traditional and modern illness, witchcraft, violence, impurity, heavy work, and improper use of medicine. The third theme is about the strategy. Hmm? What can we learn about the community strategy for preventing um, preterm birth? What strategy do they use? So it's really um, timely treatment of traditional illnesses, hmm? so for, for the people to have access to um, treatment on time hmm? for traditional illness, what they think are traditional illnesses, and also using health facility treatment for STDs. And they also talk about limitations and barriers that women face in their ability to make decisions about their own pregnancy, you know, but sometimes you know, even it's, if it's the women that is carrying the baby, but the husbands are the one giving um, the authorizations to go to the health center to get, you know, care. So those are considered as limitations and barriers as well. The second one is how are each of these teams interrelated? Consider the, the, the figures one. So the community conceptualization of preterm birth 
really influence how the community perceive cause or the cause of preterm birth and miscarriage. So this is in turn really influence the strategy that the community think are available to prevent preterm birth and miscarriage. So finally, by learning about the community perception, we learn what barriers may prevent women from actually, you know, this um, prevention strategy. By considering, you know, community perceptions, the author determined how to foster collaboration between the health sector and the community. And these things are, you know, what um, we propose. So we have to engage healthcare providers in research, we create dialogues between um, community uh, and um, care providers and users. Hmm? We need to build partnership between healthcare providers and traditional healers and traditional birth attendants, and also identify common areas of concern and share belief between health sectors and community. So in order to really situate all the response with the unique constraint and structural challenges that women face in resource for setting contexts. So fostering the collaboration between you know, the, the providers and the communities um, around you know, all the teams that we had covered are very, very important if we want to address issues related with um, you know, preterm birth and miscarriages.